can Sochi get it together before the start of the Olympics? Well, the answer to that question is clearly no, because the Olympics have started. Opening ceremonies kicked off just a couple of days ago, and Sochi still doesn't have it together. A little bit of background. Now, Sochi is a, is a small Russian resort town, and clearly it was not ready for the Olympics when it got the bid, and it's not ready for the Olympics now. In fact, because of the varying, various amount of precipitation and rain that, has to t that takes place in Sochi, they've been unable to sort of prepare. But Vladimir Putin, he's up for the challenge, um, and he is basic, basically right now in Sochi as we speak. People are working 24 hours a day to finish building all the stuff that's got to get built before the Olympics start. Too bad the Olympics have already started. Um, the games will cost more than, the games are more than $40 billion over budget. A record, a record by many billions set. Now, understanding this, let's, in comparison, because you like to compare, I like to compare oranges to oranges, not oranges to apples, right? So let's make a clear comparison. So the last Winter Games was held in Vancouver. Now, the Vancouver Games, the Vancouver Games cost 40, cost, well, in the, the entire cost of the over-budgetness, which is not the right word. So the $40 billion over-budget was the entire cost for the Vancouver Games. The entire cost, right? Um, and and it, just it just shows that Russia's just not prepared for this. Now, I'm not one, um, excuse me, let me clarify that fact for you. So... The road that was used, the road to, to connect, you know, athletes and tourists and diplomats from venue to venue cost $8.7 billion. That was the entire cost of the Vancouver, Vancouver Games. The Sochi Games, I had to read my notes correctly here, are at $51 billion, which is nearly $40 billion over what the original budget for the Games were. Got the facts right. I wanted to give you clear and concise and factual information.